Hey guys, Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I am going to be talking about the new business card scanner coming to D365 in October, currently in public preview. Now, the business card scanner is something that has been requested by a lot of people, even in this day and age of the digital era, the digital transformations and emails, people still collect business cards, people still give out business cards, and people still want to put that data into a D365 system. So Microsoft have released a new business card scanner to help with this functionality. And today we're going to be going through turning it on, how to configure it, and how it works. So. For starters, uh, I'm going to show you a setting um, for the business card scanner. So I'll go over to administration. We'll go to system settings and we'll go over to sales. If we scroll down, there is an option for save business card images. Um, now this isn't needed for the business card scanner to work. It's just an option you may want to be aware of if you want to retain the image or don't retain the image. It'll be stored in your database, um, probably as an attachment or a string. I've not worked that out yet, but it will be saved there and you may want to either choose to save it or not save it. So there's an option here to be aware of. Now, this business card scanner uh, by default is on the uh, uh, the crate, the quick crate for contact and the quick crate for a lead because those are the two things that Microsoft think the business card scanner will be used for. So what we can do is we can add this to the form. Now I'm going to click over to the quick crate form I've got open here for the um, for the contact. So. What you'll notice is that, um, or what you won't notice, is that there is no field at the top for business card. Now you may say, well, yeah, there's no field there. But if we switch over to the classic view, there is actually a field called business card. Now, on your default quick create for lead and contact, this new business card field has been automatically added to those default forms is what you'll find. Uh, we know this is a default field because if we go over to the details tab we, we can see the name of the field is business card. It's not a custom field, it's one Microsoft have pushed out. So if it's not in your form you can just add the business card uh, field onto the form. From there, or if you want to create this on a custom form, like a custom entity and things like that, you could just create a, a field, um, just a string field, and then you can add the PCF control onto it. So we click over to the controls tab, and you can see here is what we want, is the AI Builder Business Card Control. So this is the business card control stuff. This is the, the, the functionality. This is the PCF control that's going over the top of the business card field at the moment. We can see that it's got a name and we've got all these fields down here. And what this allows you to do is this allows you to bind fields from the business card reader that it understands to actual fields and text fields um, inside your D365 record. Now I'm not going to go through this, but it's just here is where you can configure what field is linked to what, uh, what text that it's pulling out of the business card reader. So we'll click cancel on this. So we've added this to our quick create form and let's see in action. So there's two ways to run this. Now this will run in your um, Dynamics app for your phones or your tablets when you go to create a new contact or an account, or if you go to create a quick create for a contact inside Dynamics or a quick create lead as well. So we're back in the unified interface, press new at the top and we'll click on contact. And right at the top we've got this button scan business card. So if we click on scan business card, I've got a couple of examples to show you here. We'll choose this one first. So this is Fred Flintstone 
and you can see it's pulled out the first name, it's pulled out the last name, but it's not pulled out any other data. So it's basically saying that I can understand what these two fields are. I'm gonna put those in the first and last name because this is you know using AI, using the uh, optical character recognition, and it's pulled out these two things, but it's not determined that this is the phone number or the email address, et cetera, et cetera. So let's show you a different example. So we'll click scan business card again. We'll show you this second example here. This example, John Doe, it's been a bit better. So it's figured out the first and last name being John Doe. The job title it says class of 2019, which is probably not right. Uh, so we can change this in here, but it has pulled out email address and it has pulled out a telephone number as well, which is great. Now, there's, as I said, there's two ways to use this. There's, you can use this on the mobile or you can scan things in from uh, from your desktop. So if you're on a mobile, um, once you click the scan business card button, it'll ask to use your camera. It will um, and allow you to take a photo. You take the photo, it'll read it. If you don't like what it's seen or you think, you know, maybe I can change the lighting, get a few more details in, you can you know take the photo again, scan the business card again, and um, you know try and get more of those fields in. It probably won't work 100% of the time. There's probably issues with cards and lighting, but this is AI. It should get better over time as you feed it more data. So from here we can click save and close. Uh, it says the uh, the changes were saved. View the record. And we can see that we've created this contact from the details of that business card. A bit further down, you can actually add the business card to the form itself. So that setting that I showed you earlier about retaining the business card, um, you can actually view the business card in here if you've chosen to add that option and then add the field onto your contact record. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys still work with business cards on a daily or a weekly basis? Is this something that's going to save your sales team, your admin team loads of time in the future? I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this. Please add a comment down below. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe to my channel. That's all for now.